Okay, so um, if I can just ask you to introduce yourself and talk a little bit about your work and your research um, and also explain how many, roughly how many articles, um, chapters in books and, and in books you've, you've, uh, you've published so far, you've had published. Oh my goodness, um, I'll try. So I'm Christina Leston Bandera and I'm Professor of Politics at the University of Leeds. Um, I co-direct our centre here for democratic engagement and I'm also chair of the UK study of parliament group which is a very interesting group that brings academics and practitioners together and I think more relevant for the conversation we're going to have today I'm co-editor of a journal parliamentary affairs but I'm also one of the co-investigators for P4P so I'm really pleased to to be able to do this uh, this chat with you although I can't be there at the workshop because I know there'll be lots of grantees there uh, from P4P and obviously I was part of the team that decided on all those grants and it's really good to be able to contribute in that way. Just a little bit about my research. So my research focuses very much on parliament and public engagement, so the relationship between parliament and the public. Um, I've done a lot of work on the UK parliament but actually I'm more of a comparativist so I've done a lot of work on other parliaments, mainly in Europe, but I've also done some work with, on the Brazilian parliament and public engagement, and I've got quite a few links there. Um, and I've been doing that for nearly 30 years now. So that's me in a nutshell. Oh, how many articles? Oh my goodness. Um, I think I had to count the other day all the things I've written about parliament, and it was something like, it was either nearly 50 or nearly 60 or something like that. Now in there, there's, there's journal articles, there's chapters, there's books. Um, I've edited, I think, um, I can't think about four or five books. Now I've written a couple of books. I've done quite a few chapters. The thing that is always more difficult to produce is the, the refereed journal articles, which is what we're going to talk about. And I've published from Portuguese news uh, journals to, to international ones, um, which hopefully we'll talk a little bit about now. Yeah, can you um, can you maybe we could go back to the first article you had published in a in a you know sort of major international peer reviewed yeah. journal? What was that article? Do you remember it well? Or? Oh yeah, I remember it very well. Um, so. I had published already because I'm. I did my studies in my first degree in Portugal, and out of my the studies I did there, I had published in a journal in Portugal in Portuguese, and that was a very straightforward journey because it was basically the person from the journal knew about the research I'd done for my dissertation was really excited about it. There was nothing done on the Portuguese Parliament, so it was very new. This was about the Portuguese Parliament, and basically they invited me to submit. An article, so it was it was an experience which actually is very different to the reality of the experiences. So then I came to the UK, and in the UK, when I tried to publish my first article, which I did in the end, uh, it was a very different experience because um, you, I was writing. So this was an article still about the Portuguese Parliament, but I was writing for an international audience, and that's the main thing that came out of it, is that there were things that I should say about my case study to the international audience which I would never have thought of because to me they were obvious and likewise there were things that I was saying they were just too detailed that to me were absolutely important to say but for the international audience it didn't it didn't make any sense it wasn't needed and actually what I needed to draw out more from my article and my case study is what was the relevance of my case study. So it was an article and the methods were fine, all of that was fine, but it was the way I was communicating the study. So that, that particular study I had analysed um, the debates on the budget, which is always a major bill going through any parliament, so the budget for the whole country of Portugal, and I had analysed that over the period of 13 years and looked at the different roles that parliament performed. and what I needed to, through the reviewing process, what I needed to draw out of that was what was the significance of it? What did it show about the different roles that parliaments in general perform? Um, so it was, it was quite bruising and I think quite often submitting an article 
and then you get reviews and comments back um, hopefully they ask you for to revise and resubmit and if they do sometimes the language it's very negative it sounds like you've been rejected but actually they are inviting you to, to revise and resubmit um, as long as it's not reject you have another chance to submit something and so what happened in there was I got the comments and those comments can be very bruising can be really uh, quite um, demoralizing but most of the time they are very demoralizing and what you need to do is just go beyond the, that effect and try to look at the article and, and the comments. So how did you feel when, when it finally got into, after several bruising rounds of, of review, how did you feel when it got into, into press and you saw the final? Oh, it, it was great. Obviously, it was great because it was my work um, in English in the international journal. I mean, it wasn't a very high ranking journal, but it was a, a very good journal. Um, but I still, I still sort of have some, some feeling of that I hadn't done a good job because in, I, I was used to, in Portugal, everything I did was so well received. And obviously coming here, I was still a PhD student here in the UK. It was that feeling that actually there's a different standard here. But part of that is just about how you communicate what you're finding to an international audience and what's of significance to, to the audience here.